During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about a handy app you can use on your smartphone or your tablet, whether you're a farmer or even a non-farmer. It's the Ag PhD Nutrient Deficiency app. And I know, you're thinking, nutrient deficiencies, I hope I never see them on my farm. Guess what, you probably are seeing some of these things Maybe you just didn't know exactly what that symptomology was. And you think, oh, this is just drought related what I'm seeing in the field, or ah, it looks like this because I've had so much rain, when in reality, it may be one of the nutrients in your soil that isn't getting into your crop, or one of the nutrients that is deficient in your soil that's now becoming deficient in the plant. Identification is really the first step to solving the problem. All right, with the Nutrient Deficiency app, you can look at the pictures of nutrient deficiencies. You can find out a little bit more about different nutrients and why they're important in plants. This is just so incredibly important. We talk about plant nutrients. We talk about fertility all the time on the show. And I don't care if you just have a lawn, you have a garden, uh, or you're a big farmer. Nutrients are incredibly important. And, you know, one of the things about this, too, a lot of people will say, well, we, we just want to have the right nutrients and the right fertilizers so we raise a good crop, have good yields. Okay, I get that. That's important. But here's the other thing. Where do a lot of our crops go? They get fed to livestock. And if you have a more nutritious crop that's getting fed to the livestock, well, all of a sudden you have a more nutritious uh, animal in the end that needs fewer other vitamins, basically. So this is incredibly important. We just think that you should download this app, take a look at all these different nutrients that are out there, and really study up on this thing. So when you're out in fields, you can identify one nutrient deficiency from the next nutrient deficiency. Uh, it's something that every farmer and every non-farmer can use. Just a couple quick tips. When you see nutrient deficiencies up at the top of the plant, it's typically sulfur or one of the micronutrients. When you see a nutrient deficiency on the lower part of the plant, it's N, P, or K. So that kind of gives you an idea of where to start. Also, you may be thinking, well, I don't know about this app because it's probably just for corn farmers or soybean farmers. We've got a lot of different crops on the app, so there's many different uses uh, depending on what you're growing. Take a look at the app and see it's a free download, so it's not going to cost you any money to take a look and see if the crop that you raise happens to be on the app. And finally, the other thing that I would point out is if you're short in one or more nutrients, your crop is going to become a water waster. So all of a sudden, if you're a little bit dry, that crop is going to continue pulling moisture out of the soil, trying to bring in that nutrient that it needs. And when it can't find it, it's just going to bring in more water and more water and more water until you finally run out. So stopping a nutrient stress is going to help with everything else down the road in your crop production. Well, another thing that will help with everything else down the road in crop production is controlling weeds like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 